Hello everybody, this is MC Gemstone, and before we get started, if you can hear Barry, um, quietly, I guess. If it starts, you will hear some banging outside, the yeah, other some banging outside there is. Yeah, that, okay. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to be reviewing Hustig and Miku plush toy that I got from Comic Con and it's been a while since I've reviewed anything from last um, video, so sorry for the long wait. Let's get on with the review of the Hustig and Miku plush toy that I got from Comic Con last year. So let's start from the head to the bottom. Okay, so um, if we have a look at the head bit, her head's really delicate and really smooth. Um, and yeah, she, um, she's it, the the felt's nice and soft. Uh, yeah, it's it's really well done. We got I think that's supposed to be like the headphones with the little mic attached to it right there, um, with a with a sort of a harder material and sort of these um, ironed on stickers in a way. So that's pretty good. Um, we got her pigtails, I guess you could call them pigtails, I'm not so sure. Yeah, they got the hard material with the ironed on um, sticker. And then we got the hair, which has got the, um, very nicely soft stuffing in the hair. It's very fluffy, it is. It's very soft and gentle to feel on it. And the uh, same as got the other hair as well. And if you look at the detail of the eyes, they're very swell sewn on. I have to say they're really good sewn on. And they've got the small mouth and then you've got the little eyebrows up here. And also the hair you can sort of, well, move it I guess you could say. It's not really being stitched on in any ways. Um, it's not so big. Yeah, I guess it's... I, you know, so I don't think I have a problem with it being stitched on. Well, like that. I guess it thinks it's. I think it's a little more better, so it's freely to move. I think. Yeah, I think it goes well like that. So, anyways, on to next to the body. We have known for the um, from EQ. She has that sort of. Um, oh, it's like a jacket or something, or some. Not a jacket, but maybe like a shirt she wears or something. Yes, yeah, something very school-looking. I guess you could say. Uh, she has the tie. Um, the little um, collar, not collar, sort of like, I've got these things, what they're called, I'm really sorry. Uh, we got the sleeves right there, nicely um, done on that, it's a really soft material again. Same with the, like, the face material, it's sort of, I think it's the same like that, but a, a little, maybe a little different material, and these are sort of the hard material, just sort of like with this one in a way. And uh, if we go to next to the arms, we got her, I don't know what you, f you call these things, like, they're like, um, I never knew what these were, like, like, are they supposed to be, they're not really supposed to be attached to them, because that's what goes with the sign, it's just, oh no, they're like, not like gloves, they're just things that make her look cool. <laughs> And she has all like the little buttons because she's a digital character from the future. Yeah. If you don't know who Miku is, I recommend you probably look her up. But if you want, but I can probably tell you in sort of like a shorter version of it. So basically, Miku is a vocaloid which is a singer, but she's digital and. Um, when she sings, it's very robotic, I guess you could say. And now with volume three, she's got the Bookaloid series. Um, I guess her seems her voice is now like improving over time. But yeah, and also she comes to live on stage as well with special hologram stuff. I don't know. She's sort of the future, I guess you could say. And um, the original creators were in America and so on and. Oh, I recommend you see the full story of it because I got a plush toy to review and this is ain't sort of the thing I should be doing now because <laughs> whatever. But anyways, I recommend if you if you're curious to know, just look it up on the Wikipedia or something. So you you know the more you know. And anyways, um, moving on from that, uh, we got the other thing that she has. I'm sorry, I don't know what this is supposed to mean. I'm very dumb. <laughs> and she has the, um, what, um, it's very well known with Miku, I guess you could say, is, I guess you could say, well, yeah, 
Miku's leak. She doesn't normally hold it. I mean, there was another uh, Miku toy of her, which was from G Animation, who didn't have that, and it was a different design. And I one time saw on Amazon there was this exact toy, but without the leak, and it was very expensive. And you know, the leak, um, it's, you can't really attach the off or anything, so it, it doesn't really get in the way if you're make, uh, making plush to it. So yeah, I guess it's a nice, cool feature she has. And, you know, it's made out of a nice soft material, well well done stuff, and all, in which done a good job with the stitching and stuff, you know. And, um, on to the skirt, um, it's a, I guess it's a different sort of material they use. I think something the same with this material they done here, and oh yeah, her little hands, they're, they're so adorable, they, they, can't even, they can't even see them because this thing is so big. And, Oh yeah, and also you've got the little one thing. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be about, but hey. And um, yeah, so we got the skirt. We got the um, the thing that's attached to it. I don't know, sort of like um, not like a not like a keychain, but um, it's um, something that's attached to the skirt, and it's very nicely done with. Um, the materials they used, this was probably ironed, this was, with a sticker, and uh, the um, material, yes, um, that's probably the same with the headphones that she's got. And lastly, onto the shoes, and also the back as well. Her well known for her very long boots, if you've seen her actual design, but yeah, there's, you know, these sort of boots like that, but the thing I really don't get is why they have these little, um, these little stickers on it, like these ironed on stickers, because if you look at this, uh, example of this I got here, the, um, my Miku wall square I got here, she doesn't have any of those blue dots on her boots for some reason, I'm not sure what's about that, they put on there, maybe it was because they, I don't know, they, um, they had, I don't know, it's the same with all the other plush toys that um, they got to the Bogloids. I'm not sure what was the idea for this, but it's nothing much of a problem really. And if we have a look in the back, um, we've got the same, we've got her little um, bit of head there attached, um, nothing much on the back really, just some, um, it's, you know, it, it's, yeah, this, like I said, there's nothing much to see on the back. So, yeah. It's a nice um, quality plush, and it does a good job. If you're collecting any Hustuka Miku um, plush toys or anything, uh, this is good for collector's items, this is good for making plush videos. This, it's well, it's a well done plush, it is. It's, my advice is it's you may want to probably handle with care because it's pretty delicate it is it's a it's a very delicate very detailed plush i don't recommend giving it to someone that's a little smaller or younger because they may probably throw it around or something i'm not so sure if they would but you know it mostly would probably happen it's just my advice is to keep her out of safety of young children because they may accidentally ruin it Oh no, it's just, it needs to, it's just, it's just too good to get ruined. And uh, my advice, if you want to keep it like dust free, I recommend putting like a bag over it. If you, unless you put in a toy box or something, but uh, anyways, I'll show you what I mean. So this is like a plastic bag that came with Hustuka Miki when I was on Comic Con. This plastic bag I got uh, over, it, over it, um, will keep the dust away if you don't have a lid for a box like this. Unless if you're, unless you do have a box, then um, she would probably be fine. So I don't think she will get any dust on her. So yeah. Oh, well, you can have, let's have a look at my box. Yeah, I got, I got these from a shop. Um. Yeah, that's that's, that's, a, that's a nice fancy box. Is I got. That's all. <laughs> So, what do I think about my this Hustuka Miku plush? Well, like I said before, this is a good quality plush. This is well made. This is just well detailed. It's 
it's really nice to look at. It's a really um, nice, comfy, um, soft plush. I wouldn't possibly recommend it's a sort of a soft plush toy for any younger viewers that are watching. I don't know if it would be mostly good for sleep, um, t using as a plush to sleep at night. I don't know, she's not that sort of plush. She's more like a plush you would probably, um, I guess a collecting sort of plush item would probably put on a, on the, you know, somewhere out of the way. I don't know the words. I am, I'm really not knowing words today. I'm, I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay, let's just uh, mend this over with them. Um, so, if you want, if you like this plush and you got someone that in, is into Bocaloids, I recommend you buy this plush. There are loads of other Miku plushes out there, but this is one of my favorites. So, yeah, um, there's plenty in the series. I'll be doing uh, Rin and Lan, hopefully, by Luca, Kaito, Meko, and Nero. And maybe I may buy. Um, the other version, Hachu Miku, I think that's how you pronounce her name. I'll p probably put a picture right here. Do you know she is? So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this silly video of mine reviewing Miku. And you also probably seen her on one of my videos I've been doing uploads on this channel. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. And if you want to see more you can subscribe if you want to and I'm gonna probably uh, get on with my night's nice costume I'm making yeah I got this thing right here I'm, I'm gonna be planning making a, um, a costume for Comic Con Nights it's a work in progress I know I was probably gonna keep this a secret from everyone unless you follow my DeviantArt but I just wanted to say it anyway so anyways um, Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time when I do a review. So this is MC Gemstone, and I hope you have a good day. Goodbye.